Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'll be talking about uh, some news in regards to uh, Moment.js which recently uh, said that they're basically gonna put their project on hold for now uh, and uh, they actually recommend moving to other uh, date libraries. So here is the blog post I'm just showing on the screen right here. And uh, recently I did a video where I was talking about dates in JavaScript and how I was doing dates. And actually in the past I have used Moment.js uh, since the very first uh, library that I work with, uh, with was a full calendar and they were using Moment.js uh, that time. So I kind of learned how to work with Moment. And they also write in this article that the only reason we had to stay for Moment.js would be if yeah, you had a dependency that were already using Moment.js. Otherwise, they basically say, um, I recommend you choose an alternative, one of these, Luxon Date.js or Date.fns. And um, as I have shown in previous videos, I like using Date.fns, Date Functions. Um, but Luxon looks like a really, really solid choice as well. Um, have support for, uh, oh, I mean, for locals and time zones. They're both using the new Intel API for the browser, which is pretty amazing. All right, that was a little bit of a news. Now I want to jump down and um, look at some of the alternatives we can use right now. And I'm just going to go with something really familiar here. So I'm going to add in date functions here. And uh, before using DataFNS, I want to show how we can actually use the Intel um, API that is built in in almost every browser at this point. So if we uh, pop up Chrome here and paste in can I use Intel date time, you can see that it has really good support now. And uh, it's basically working for everything but uh, IE 6 to 10 and some, yeah, maybe some Chinese browsers. So uh, that's looking pretty sweet. Let's let's see how we can use this. So um, let's say if I make a date, uh, it's just going to be the current date. And let's say I want to format that using the Intel API. So how can I do that? So let me show how it's done. So basically you can do new and then do intel dot and then access the date time format. And as the first argument you put in the locale. So uh, different countries have different ways of displaying date. So let's say I'm making an app for an English company, then I want to put in ENGB, right? And then as a second parameter, I can add some options in here. And the very short uh, one I can add in here, a very quick one is just to add date style and then put in full. Now on this object I can call in, I can call format. And then I should have a very beautifully formatted date. So if I pop open my terminal here and I do your node index.js, I'm getting the current date right here. and. Uh, that was pretty straightforward. I didn't even have to know anything about uh, any way of formatting a date. I can just put in full here and then I would get the full date. And I could even change this full to something else. Let's say I want to put in uh, long. Let's try to lock that one. All right, then I don't get the day of the week, but I get month and a day of month and also year but I can also put in short here and then yeah I have a date like this so um, this is pretty flexible and pretty easy to manage now uh, what else can I do with this Intel date date type format so there's one other thing you can do is let's define a date here let's do Intel date time format once again, we're going to put in ENGB just because we are in England all of a sudden. And uh, for 
instead of putting date style, we can be a little more specific and add in stuff as weekday. Say I want the whole weekday, I can add in long. And I also want some time on it, so I can add in hour. And I want that as numeric. And I can even add in minute as well, just to get, hmm, what time is it right now in minutes? And then on that one, I can add format. So if I replace that log statement with day two, you can see now I'm getting Monday at 1858. And that's because I said, hey, I want weekday, but I also want hour and minute. Okay. If I will go in here and add date style, let's say date style long, I would basically overwrite all of this configuration here and just, uh, yeah, pick up on this one. Like this date style basically takes, takes precedence over this stuff. So uh, yeah, that's something to consider. Now, this is great and I actually recommend going for this library. Um, oh, I mean, using this API whenever you can, but uh, I do still like going with date functions. So I'm gonna import this and I'm gonna explain why I still like to have this um, library at hand. Cause yeah, this is great for formatting dates, right? But what if you want to manipulate with dates, do all kinds of fanciness, then uh, they might get a little more complicated up here. So that's when I like to go for day functions. So uh, let's just uh, have a quick look how we would format something uh, with date FNS. Now I'm gonna call it date free here. Just move this one down. And uh, I'm gonna do date FNS dot format. Here I'm gonna pass in now. Uh, and now is up here, right? This is the current date. And then I can pass in the so-called formatting string. And to know what to put in here, you need to basically need to look up the documentation. Uh, I'm gonna show it right here on the screen. So it looks something like this, uh, where we have all the different strings here and what the output. So if I want the month, I can put in M. Yeah, and all kinds of other stuff. So let's just put in E, 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 E here. Uh, let's try to log that. Oh, no index. All right, I get Monday. So formatting, that's cool. Datafinance can do that, and you can tailor it as you know as you like. Here you're kind of relying a little bit on some presets, um, but here you can actually do exactly how you want it. So that's that, that's a uh, definitely a a uh, pro, I would say. Now, uh, what else can you do with dativeness? So I was talking about manipulating dates. That's kind of the big reason why you would use it, even though you have this great new Intel API. So let's say I need to list the whole week of this week. I want all the days of this week. Now that's not super straightforward, but if we're using something like the FNS, we can definitely do that. So let me try to write out that implementation. Just for those of you who might need this function randomly. So, um, all right, I'm gonna make a variable. It's gonna call it today, oops. And that's just gonna be today's date. Now um, to figure out all the dates, days of this week, I need to go to the start of the week. All right, and to do that, we have a nice utility function here from date of nest that's called start of the week. That's something I also really like about this library is the naming of things. So if I want to add an hour, I just call add hours or add day or add minute, milliseconds, anything. Every, everything is so natural, like, so that, that's very cool. Anyway, in here I'm gonna pass in today and then I'm gonna pass in some customization. So you rarely have to do this uh, when you work with dates, but from my case, uh, I believe it defaults to the US locale where Sunday is first. So I just need to add the extra parameter because I'm from EU and, uh, or well, I'm from 
Denmark actually. So my week was start on Monday, and uh, the number one is Monday. All right. All right. Then I'm going to define a array here called final, and I was just going to do a very basic loop here, a very basic one. You might not have seen this in a while. Um, so uh, yeah, watch out here. So uh, all right. So let's loop over. Uh, seven times here and uh, let's add a day for each time okay so here I'm gonna define a variable called date and I want to add days to the start here and then I want to add the index here so uh, in the beginning I'm adding zero days right and then yeah Next time I'm adding one day, so on and so forth. Anyways, when I have my date, I can just push that one to my final array and I'm all good. Typically, I would make it a little more neat though, have an object in here, and then pre format um, this one. So I can call the format function, pass in my date here, right, and then the format I want. A very typical format is this one, year, year, day, day, and then month at the end. This one is used uh, very commonly, and uh, I couldn't generate that one with this one. Uh, uh, very simple. Uh, I think I have to do a little more digging how to figure it out, but yeah, with date function is more natural, at least for me. So yeah, I can do that, and then I can do return final, all right? Now I can call this function uh, weeks, oh sorry, days of the week. It's more like days of the week, right? Days of week. And then I can do get current week. Okay. Try to log it out. And then do node index. Oh, we have an error. Act unexpected token export. Uh, what happened here? It seems like we actually try to do a weird import here. Let's uh, remove that and then make sure that we do like this, All right? Cool, let's clear it out. Oh, let's do node index again and uh, boom. It seems like we have, oh sorry, this is uh, shouldn't be final, this should actually be dates. So I says circular here. It's just referencing this array over and over again. That's not good. Uh, let's try it one more time. All right, here we have all the days of the week, and um, we could write this function just using some of these very neat utility functions from the data definition library. And uh, all right, so let's just have a look at the actual result here. So we can see the format looks. Looks good at least. We have uh, today Monday and today is the 1st of September. So that's all good. Uh, this date over here, it looks like it is the 20th here, but this might just be a an error in illustrating the actual date in the console since the formatting looks, looks right. All right, all right team, that's it, that's it. That's all I want to show, just um, share the news of moment.js and uh, if you are looking for another library i would recommend even either looking into luxon i might pronounce that wrong or a library like date functions data finesse it's very uh very cool okay that's all i wanted to show you see you